This was the video that went viral on the 6th of May, a short-toed eagle surrounded by macaques in the upper rock. The migrating bird had been attacked and brought down by nesting peregrine falcons. Injured and exhausted, the bird found itself surrounded by angry macaques who saw it as a predator invading their territory. Taxi driver John Charles Guy and another friend, who were in the vicinity at the time, used a tracksuit top and an umbrella to cover the bird and fend off the monkeys. It's bravery is what prompted me to, to do something about it. I was not about to let like, the apes tear them to pieces. And the apes, it's a natural instinct, you know, and don't, don't blame the apes either. But it's bravery, the way it stood there, the way it defended itself. I said to myself, I can't let this, this animal die. And so it's his bravery that prompted me to act and, and for it not to, to die. And what did you do in that moment? I mean, to handle a bird like that is not easy. It, it was surreal, but the thing is, I think he, he actually, and Vincent can, can corroborate this, but it relaxed, it didn't do anything, he wasn't struggling. He seemed to sort of say, thank God somebody's got hold of me, and, put me. and I put him in the boot of the car, and I had clients in the car, and it didn't move at all. It was just, just stayed there, and just said, well, something's going to happen to me eventually, and he just relaxed, and yeah, he was fine, he was fine. I think he was sort of like grateful that something had been done to help him. The raptor unit were notified and the eagle was taken to them. It suffered a blood clot in one of its eyes that was likely from repeated attacks by peregrine falcons. It was also very thin and dehydrated. Rehabilitation took weeks, but the bird was finally able to be released this week. The problem is nesting wild peregrine falcons. These uh, raptors cross their territories and they get attacked and knocked down. Uh, also, we have a very large population of yellow-legged gulls. So this is a situation that does happen often. And uh, as regards to rehabilitation, it depends on the injuries. I mean, some birds, they're just concussed uh, a couple of days or, or soft tissue injuries, which can be sorted out in a matter of weeks or even days. And, but this one had a very severe injury in his eyes. Obviously, a bird with, uh, that cannot use both its eyes, you cannot release back to the world. So, I mean, my hat goes off to uh, Mark Pizarro, that he always drops everything to assist us. So we progressed to treat the um, eagle, feed it properly, and make sure they gain weight. And today has been the uh, fulfillment of all that work. For John Charles, a full circle moment to be the one to release the bird. You know, it's been emotional. I, I've thought about him a lot. I was glad that Vincent had him in his care. I'm in absolute awe of these guys, what they've done for him, how they fixed him up. His eye was totally gone. Um, the vets as well, Mark as well. I, admiration, total admiration. And to see him fly away, which is what I really, really wanted. It's, it's, to me, it's, it's, it's something which I can say at the end of my days, I did something good, I think. So this is what I wanted. I wanted to see him fly and be free again. Fully healed, healthy and ready to fly, the short-toed eagle took to the skies once more.